Acre or known to locals as Akko, Hebrew, Akwo Akko or Akka, Arabic Ka Akka, is a city in the coastal plain region of the northern district of Israel. The city occupies an important location, sitting in a natural harbor at the extremity of Haifa Bay on the coast of the Mediterranean's Levantine Sea. Aside from coastal trading, it was also an important waypoint on the region's coastal road and the road cutting inland along the Jezreel Valley. The first settlement during the Early Bronze Age was abandoned after a few centuries but a large town was established during the Middle Bronze Age. Continuously inhabited since then, it is among the oldest continuously inhabited settlements on Earth. It has, however, been subject to conquest and destruction several times and survived as little more than a large village for centuries at a time. In present-day Israel, the population was 48,303 in 2017, made up of Jews, Muslims, Christians, Druze, and Baha'is. In particular, Acre is the holiest city of the Baha'i faith and receives many pilgrims of that faith every year. The mayor is Shimon Lankri, who was re-elected in 2011. <laughs> Names The etymology of the name is unknown, but apparently not Semitic. A folk etymology in Hebrew is that, when the ocean was created, it expanded until it reached Acre and then stopped, giving the city its name. In Hebrew, Ad Ko means, up to here, and no further. Acre seems to be recorded in Egyptian hieroglyphics, possibly being the Aka in the execration texts from around 1800 BC and the Aak. In the tribute lists of Thutmose III, 1479 to 1425 BC, the Akkadian cuneiform Amarna letters also mention an Akka in the mid 14th century BC. On its native currency, Acre's name was written K Phoenician. It appears in Assyrian and once in Biblical Hebrew. Other transcriptions of these names include Akko, Akko, Ak, and Osina. Acre was known to the Greeks as Ake Greek, Ak a homonym for Greek word meaning cure. Greek legend then offered a folk etymology that Hercules had found curative herbs at the site after one of his many fights. This name was Latinized as Ace. Josephus's histories also transcribed the city into Greek as Acre. Under the successors of Alexander the Great, the Egyptians called the city Ptolemy Greek, Ptolemy Ptolemy I.S. and the Syrians Antioch Greek, Antiochia Antiochia or Antiochens. As both names were shared by a great many other towns, they were variously distinguished. The Syrians called it Antioch in Ptolemy, Antiochia Tes en Ptolemy de Antiochia Tus en Ptolemy ID, and the Romans Ptolemy in Phoenicia. Others knew it as Antiochia Ptolemy, Antiochia Ptolemy, Antiochia Ptolemy IS. Under Claudius, it was also briefly known as Germanicia in Ptolemy, Germanicaea Tes en Ptolemy de Germanicaea Tus en Ptolemy ID. As a Roman colony, it was notionally refounded and renamed Colonia Claudii Caesaris Ptolemy or Colonia Claudia Felix Ptolemy Garmanica Stabilis after its imperial sponsor Claudius. It was known as Colonia Ptolemy for short. During the Crusades, it was known again as Acre or as Saint John of Acre, French, Saint Jean d'Acre, after the Knights Hospitaller who had their headquarters there. History Bronze Age The remains of the oldest settlement at the site of modern Acre were found at a tell archaeological mound located 1.5 km .93 miles east of the modern city of Acre. Known as Tel Akko in Hebrew and Tel El Fukar in Arabic, its remains date to about 3000 BC, during the early Bronze Age. This farming community endured for only a couple of centuries, after which the site was abandoned, possibly after being inundated by rising seawaters. Acre was resettled as an urban center during the Middle Bronze Age c. 2000-1550 BC and has been continuously inhabited since then. <laughs> Iron Age During the Iron Age, Acre was politically and culturally affiliated with Phoenicia. In the biblical book of Judges, Akko appears in a list of the places which the Israelites were not able to conquer from the Canaanites. It is later described in the territory of the tribe of Asher and, according to Josephus's later account, was reputed to have been ruled by one of Solomon's provincial governors. Around 725 BC, Acre joined Sidon and Tyre in a revolt against the Neo-Assyrian king Shalmaneser V. 
Topic: Classical Antiquity. Strabo refers to the city as once a rendezvous for the Persians in their expeditions against Egypt. After Alexander the Great's death, his main generals divided his empire among themselves. At first, the Egyptian Ptolemies held the land around Acre. Ptolemy II renamed the city Ptolemy in his own and his father's honor in the 260s BC. Antiochus III conquered the town for the Syrian Seleucids in 200 BC. In the late 170s or early 160s BC, Antiochus IV founded a Greek colony in the town, which he named Antioch after himself. About 165 BC, Judas Maccabeus defeated the Seleucids in several battles in Galilee and drove them into Ptolemy. About 153 BC, Alexander Ballas, son of Antiochus IV Epiphanes, contesting the Seleucid crown with Demetrius, seized the city, which opened its gates to him. Demetrius offered many bribes to the Maccabees to obtain Jewish support against his rival, including the revenues of Ptolemy for the benefit of the temple in Jerusalem, but in vain. Jonathan Aphis threw in his lot with Alexander and in 150 BC he was received by him with great honor in Ptolemy. Some years later, however, Tryphon, an officer of the Seleucid Empire, who had grown suspicious of the Maccabees, enticed Jonathan into Ptolemy and there treacherously took him prisoner. The city was captured by Alexander Janius, ruled c. 103 to 76 BC, Cleopatra, r. 69 to 30 BC, and Tigranes the Great, r. 95 to 55 BC. Here Herod the Great, r. 37 to 4 BC, built a gymnasium. The Christian Acts of the Apostles reports that Luke the Evangelist, Paul the Apostle, and their companions spent a day in Ptolemy with the Christian brethren there. A Roman colony Colonia was established at the city under the reign of the emperor Claudius. The Romans enlarged the port and the city, which flourished for six centuries. Topic. Byzantine period After the permanent division of the Roman Empire in 395, Ptolemy was administered by the successor state, the Byzantine Empire. Topic. Early Islamic period Following the defeat of the Byzantine army of Heraclius by the Rashidun army of Khalid ibn al-Walid in the Battle of Yarmouk, and the capitulation of the Christian city of Jerusalem to the Caliph Umar, Acre came under the rule of the Rashidun Caliphate beginning in 638. According to the early Muslim chronicler al baladari the actual conquest of Acre was led by Shurabil ibn Hasana, and it likely surrendered without resistance. The Arab conquest brought a revival to the town of Acre, and it served as the main port of Palestine through the Umayyad and Abbasid caliphates that followed, and through Crusader rule into the 13th century. The first Umayyad caliph, Muawiyah I, r. 661-680, regarded the coastal towns of the Levant as strategically important. Thus, he strengthened Acre's fortifications and settled Persians from other parts of Muslim Syria to inhabit the city. From Acre, which became one of the region's most important dockyards along with Tyre, Muawiyah launched an attack against Byzantine-held Cyprus. The Byzantines assaulted the coastal cities in 669, prompting Muawiyah to assemble and send shipbuilders and carpenters to Acre. The city would continue to serve as the principal naval base of Jund al-Urdun, military district of Jordan. Until the reign of Caliph Hisham ibn Abd al-Malik who moved the bulk of the shipyards north to Tyre. Nonetheless, Acre remained militarily significant through the early Abbasid period, with Caliph al-Mutawakal issuing an order to make Acre into a major naval base in 861, equipping the city with battleships and combat troops. During the 10th century, Acre was still part of Jund al-Urdun. Local Arab geographer al muqaddasa visited Acre during the early Fatimid Caliphate in 985, describing it as a fortified coastal city with a large mosque possessing a substantial olive grove. Fortifications had been previously built by the autonomous Emir ibn Tulun of Egypt, who annexed the city in the 870s, and provided relative safety for merchant ships arriving at the city's port. When Persian traveller Nasir Khusra visited Acre in 1047, he noted that the large Jama Masjid was built of marble, located in the centre of the city and just south of it lay the tomb of the Prophet Salah. Khusra provided a description of the city's size, which roughly translated as having a length of 1.24 kilometres and a width of 300 metres 
This figure indicates that Acre at that time was larger than its current Old City area, most of which was built between the 18th and 19th centuries. Topic: <laughs> Crusader and Ayyubid period. Topic: <laughs> First Crusader Kingdom of Jerusalem, 1104 to 1187. After roughly four years of siege, Acre finally capitulated to the forces of King Baldwin I of Jerusalem in 1104 following the First Crusade. The Crusaders made the town their chief port in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. On the First Crusade, Fulcher relates his travels with the crusading armies of King Baldwin, including initially staying over in Acre before the armies advanced to Jerusalem. This demonstrates that even from the beginning, Acre was an important link between the Crusaders and their advance into the Levant. Its function was to provide crusaders with a foothold in the region and access to vibrant trade that made them prosperous, especially giving them access to the Asiatic spice trade. By the 1130s it had a population of around 25,000 and was only matched for size in the Crusader Kingdom by the city of Jerusalem. Around 1170 it became the main port of the eastern Mediterranean, and the Kingdom of Jerusalem was regarded in the west as enormously wealthy above all because of Acre. According to an English contemporary, it provided more for the Crusader crown than the total revenues of the King of England. The Andalusian geographer Ibn Jubair wrote that in 1185 there was still a Muslim community in the city who worshipped in a small mosque. Topic: <laughs> Ayyubid Intermezzo 1187 to 1191. Acre, along with Beirut and Sidon, capitulated without a fight to the Ayyubid Sultan Saladin in 1187, after his decisive victory at Hattin and the subsequent Muslim capture of Jerusalem. <laughs> Second Crusader Kingdom of Jerusalem 1191 Acre remained in Muslim hands until it was unexpectedly besieged by King Guy of Lusignan, Reinforced by Pisan naval and ground forces in August 1189. The siege was unique in the history of the Crusades since the Frankish besiegers were themselves besieged by Saladin's troops. It was not captured until July 1191 when the forces of the Third Crusade, led by King Richard I of England and King Philip II of France, came to King Guy's aid. Acre then served as the de facto capital of the remnant Kingdom of Jerusalem in 1192. During the siege, German merchants from Lübeck and Bremen had founded a field hospital, which became the nucleus of the chivalric Teutonic order. Upon the Sixth Crusade, the city was placed under the administration of the Knights Hospitaller Military Order. Acre continued to prosper as major commercial hub of the eastern Mediterranean, but also underwent turbulent times due to the bitter infighting among the Crusader factions that occasionally resulted in civil wars. The old part of the city, where the port and fortified city were located, protrudes from the coastline, exposing both sides of the narrow piece of land to the sea. This could maximize its efficiency as a port, and the narrow entrance to this protrusion served as a natural and easy defense to the city. Both the archaeological record and crusader texts emphasize Acre's strategic importance—a city in which it was crucial to pass through, control, and, as evidenced by the massive walls, protect. Acre was the final major stronghold of the crusader states when much of the Levantine coastline was conquered by Mamluk forces. Acre itself fell to Sultan al-Ashraf Khalil in 1291. Mamluk period 1291 Acre, having been isolated and largely abandoned by Europe, was conquered by Mamluk Sultan al-Ashraf Khalil in a bloody siege in 1291. In line with Mamluk policy regarding the coastal cities to prevent their future utilization by Crusader forces, Acre was entirely destroyed, with the exception of a few religious edifices considered sacred by the Muslims, namely the Nabi Salah tomb and the Ain Bakar spring. The destruction of the city led to popular Arabic sayings in the region enshrining its past glory. In 1321, the Syrian geographer Abul Fida wrote that Acre was a beautiful city but still in ruins following its capture by the Mamluks. Nonetheless, the «spacious» port was still in use and the city was full of artisans. Throughout the Mamluk era 1260 Acre was succeeded by Safed as the principal city of its province. <laughs> Ottoman period 
Incorporated into the Ottoman Empire in 1517, it appeared in the census of 1596, located in the Nahiya of ACCA of the Liwa of Safad. The population was 81 households and 15 bachelors, all Muslim. They paid a fixed tax rate of 25% on agricultural products, including wheat, barley, cotton, goats, and beehives, water buffaloes, in addition to occasional revenues and market toll, a total of 20,500 aksha. Half of the revenue went to a WAQF. English academic Henry Mondrell in 1697 founded a ruin, save for a khan caravanserai built and occupied by French merchants for their use, a mosque and a few poor cottages. The Khan was named Khan al Ilfranj after its French founders. During Ottoman rule, Acre continued to play an important role in the region via smaller autonomous sheikdoms. Towards the end of the 18th century, Acre revived under the rule of Zahir al Umar, the Arab ruler of the Galilee, who made the city capital of his autonomous sheikdom. Zahir rebuilt Acre's fortifications, using materials from the city's medieval ruins. He died outside its walls during an offensive against him by the Ottoman state in 1775. His successor, Jazar Pasha, further fortified its walls when he virtually moved the capital of the Sahida islet, province of Sidon, to Acre where he resided. Jazar's improvements were accomplished through heavy imposts secured for himself all the benefits derived from his improvements. About 1780, Jazar peremptorily banished the French trading colony, in spite of protests from the French government, and refused to receive a consul. Both Zahir and Jazar undertook ambitious architectural projects in the city, building several caravanserais, mosques, public baths and other structures. Some of the notable works included the Al Jazar Mosque, which was built out of stones from the ancient ruins of Caesarea and Atlet and the Khan al umdan both built on Jazar's orders. In 1799 Napoleon, in pursuance of his scheme for raising a Syrian rebellion against Turkish domination, appeared before Acre, but after a siege of two months March to May, was repulsed by the Turks, aided by Sir Sidney Smith and a force of British sailors. Having lost his siege cannons to Smith, Napoleon attempted to lay siege to the walled city defended by Ottoman troops on 20 March 1799, using only his infantry and small caliber cannons, a strategy which failed, leading to his retreat two months later on 21 May. Jazar was succeeded on his death by his Mamluk, Suleiman Pasha al-Adil, under whose milder rule the town advanced in prosperity till his death in 1819. After his death, Hayyam Farhi, who was his advisor, paid a huge sum in bribes to assure that Abdullah Pasha, son of Ali Pasha, the deputy of Suleiman Pasha, whom he had known from youth, will be appointed as ruler which didn't stop the new ruler from assassinating Farhi. Abdullah Pasha ruled Acre until 1831, when Ibrahim Pasha besieged and reduced the town and destroyed its buildings. During the Oriental Crisis of 1840 it was bombarded on 4 November 1840 by the Allied British, Austrian and French squadrons, and in the following year restored to Turkish rule. It regained some of its former prosperity after linking with the Hejaz Railway by a branch line from Haifa in 1913. It was the capital of the Acre Sanjak in the Beirut Vilayet until British occupation on 23 September 1918 during World War I. Topic. Mandatory Palestine At the beginning of the Mandate period, in the 1922 census of Palestine, Acre had 6,420 residents, 4,883 of whom were Muslim, 1,344 Christian, 102 Baha'i, 78 Jewish and 13 Druze. The British Mandate government reconstructed Acre, and its economic situation improved. The 1931 census counted 7,897 people in Acre, 6,076 Muslims, 1,523 Christians, 237 Jews, 51 Baha'i and 10 Druze. In 1945 Acre's population numbered 12,360, 9,890 Muslims, 50 Jews, 2,330 Christians, and 90 classified as other. Acre's fort was converted into a jail, where members of the Jewish underground were held during their struggle against the British, among them Zayev Jabotinsky, Shlomo ben Yosef, and Dov Gruner. Gruner and ben Yosef were executed there. Other Jewish inmates were freed by members of the Irgun, who broke into the jail on 4 May 1947 and succeeded in releasing Jewish underground movement activists. 
Over 200 Arab inmates also escaped. In the 1947 United Nations Partition Plan for Palestine, Acre was designated part of a future Arab state. Before the 1948 Arab Israeli War broke out, Acre's Arabs attacked neighboring Jewish settlements and Jewish transportation. In March 1948, 42 Jews were killed on an attack on a convoy north of the city, whilst on 18 March, four Jewish employees of the electricity company and five British soldiers protecting them were killed whilst traveling to repair damaged lines near the city. <laughs> State of Israel Acre was captured by Israel on 17 May 1948, displacing about three-quarters of the Arab population of the city 13,510 of 17,395. Throughout the 1950s, many Jewish neighborhoods were established at the northern and eastern parts of the city, as it became a development town, designated to absorb numerous Jewish immigrants, largely Jews from Morocco. The old city of Akko remained largely Arab Muslim including several Bedouin families, with an Arab Christian neighborhood in close proximity. The city also attracted Baha'i worshippers, some of whom became permanent residents in the city, where the Baha'i mansion of Baja is located. Acre has also served as a base for important events in Baha'i history, including being the birthplace of Shoghi Effendi, and the short-lived schism between Baha'is initiated by the attacks by Mirza Muhammad Ali against Abdul Baha. Baha'is have since commemorated various events that have occurred in the city, including the imprisonment of Baha'u'llah. In the 1990s, the city absorbed thousands of Jews, who immigrated from the Soviet Union, and later from Russia and Ukraine. Within several years, however, the population balance between Jews and Arabs shifted backwards, as northern neighborhoods were abandoned by many of its Jewish residents in favor of new housing projects in nearby Naharia, while many Muslim Arabs moved in, largely coming from nearby Arab villages. Nevertheless, the city still has a clear Jewish majority. In 2011, the population of 46,000 included 30,000 Jews and 14,000 Arabs. Ethnic tensions erupted in the city on the 8th of October 2008 after an Arab citizen drove through a predominantly Jewish neighborhood during Yom Kippur, leading to 5 days of violence between Arabs and Jews. In 2009, the population of Acre reached 46,300. The mayor as of February 2018, Shimon Lankri, was re-elected in 2011. Topic. Demography Today there are roughly 40,000 people who live in Acre. Among Israeli cities, Acre has a relatively high proportion of non-Jewish residents. Approximately a quarter of its residents are members of other faiths, Christians, Muslims, Druze, and Baha'is. Acre's population is mixed with Jews and Arabs. According to the Israeli Central Bureau of Statistics, in 2000, 95% of the residents in the Old City were Arab. Only about 15% of the current Arab population in the city descends from families who lived there before 1948. In 1999, there were 22 schools in Acre with an enrollment of 15,000 children. Transportation The Acre Central Bus Station, served by Egd and Nateyev Express, offers intra-city and intercity bus routes to destinations all over Israel. Nateyev Express is currently contracted to provide the intra-city bus routes within Acre. The city is also served by the Acre Railway Station, which is on the main coastal railway line to Naharia, with southerly trains to Beersheba and Modian Maccabim Riyadh. <laughs> Education and culture The Sir Charles Clore Jewish Arab Community Center in the Kiryat Wolfson neighborhood runs youth clubs and programs for Jewish and Arab children. In 1990, Muhammad Faheli, an Arab resident of Acre, founded the Acre Jewish Arab Association, which originally operated out of two bomb shelters. In 1993, Dame Vivian Duffield of the Clore Foundation donated funds for a new building. Among the programs offered is Peace Child Israel, which employs theater and the arts to teach coexistence. The participants, Jews and Arabs, spend two months studying conflict resolution and then work together to produce an original theatrical performance that addresses the issues they have explored. Another program is Patriots of Acre, a community responsibility and youth tourism program that teaches children to become ambassadors for their city. 
In the summer, the center runs an Arab Jewish summer camp for 120 disadvantaged children aged 5 to 11. Some 1,000 children take part in the Acre Center's youth club and youth programming every week. Adult education programs have been developed for Arab women interested in completing their high school education and acquiring computer skills to prepare for joining the workforce. The center also offers parenting courses and music and dance classes. The Akko Festival of Alternative Israeli Theater is an annual event that takes place in October, coinciding with the holiday of Sukkot. The festival, inaugurated in 1979, provides a forum for non-conventional theater, attracting local and overseas theater companies. Theater performances by Jewish and Arab producers are staged at indoor and outdoor venues around the city. Sports The city's football team, Hapoel Acre FC, is a member of the Israeli Premier League, the top tier of Israeli football. They play in the Acre Municipal Stadium which was opened in September 2011. At the end of the 2008-2009 season, the club finished in the top five, and was promoted to the top tier for a second time, after an absence of 31 years. In the past the city was also home to Maccabi Acre, however, the club was relocated to nearby Kiryat Atta and was renamed Maccabi Irony Kiryat Atta. Other current active clubs are Ahi Acre and the newly formed Maccabi Irony Acre, both playing in Liga Bet. Both club also host their matches in the Acre Municipal Stadium. Topic: <inaudible> Landmarks. Acre's old city has been designated by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Since the 1990s, large-scale archaeological excavations have been undertaken and efforts are being made to preserve ancient sites. In 2009, renovations were planned for Khan Al Umdin, the Inn of the Columns the largest of several Ottoman inns still standing in Acre. It was built near the port at the end of the 18th century by Jazar Pasha. Merchants who arrived at the port would unload their wares on the first floor and sleep in lodgings on the second floor. In 1906, a clock tower was added over the main entrance marking the 25th anniversary of the reign of the Turkish Sultan, Abdul Hamid II. Topic. City walls. In 1750, Zahir al-Umar, the ruler of Acre, utilized the remnants of the Crusader walls as a foundation for his walls. Two gates were set in the wall, the Land Gate in the eastern wall, and the Sea Gate in the southern wall. The walls were reinforced between 1775 and 1799 by Jazar Pasha and survived Napoleon's siege. The wall was thin, its height was between 10 meters 33 feet and 13 meters 43 feet and its thickness only 1.5 meters 4.9 feet. A heavy land defensive wall was built north and east to the city in 1800-1814 by Jazar Pasha and his Jewish advisor, Chaim Farhi. It consists of a modern counter-artillery fortification which includes a thick defensive wall, a dry moat, cannon outposts and three burgess large defensive towers. Since then, no major modifications have taken place. The sea wall, which remains mostly complete, is the original wall built by Zahir that was reinforced by Jazar Pasha. In 1910, two additional gates were set in the walls, one in the northern wall and one in the northwestern corner of the city. In 1912, the Acre Lighthouse was built on the southwestern corner of the walls. <laughs> Al-Jazar Mosque Al-Jazar Mosque was built in 1781. Jazar Pasha and his successor, Suleiman Pasha al-Adil, are both buried in a small graveyard adjacent to the mosque. In a shrine on the second level of the mosque, a single hair from Muhammad's beard is kept and shown on special ceremonial occasions. <inaudible> <inaudible> Citadel of Acre The current building which constitutes the Citadel of Acre is an Ottoman fortification, built on the foundation of the Citadel of the Knights Hospitaller. The Citadel was part of the city's defensive formation, reinforcing the northern wall. During the 20th century the Citadel was used mainly as Acre prison and as the site for a gallows. During the British Mandate period, activists of Jewish Zionist resistance movements were held prisoner there, some were executed there. Hammam al-Basha 
Built in 1795 by Jazar Pasha, Acre's Turkish bath has a series of hot rooms and a hexagonal steam room with a marble fountain. It was used by the Irgun as a bridge to break into the citadel's prison. The bathhouse kept functioning until 1950. Topic. Hospital or refectory Under the citadel and prison of Acre, archaeological excavations revealed a complex of halls, which was built and used by the Knights Hospitaller. This complex was a part of the Hospitaller's citadel, which was included in the northern defences of Acre. The complex includes six semi-joined halls, one recently excavated large hall, a dungeon, a refectory dining room, and remains of a Gothic church. Other medieval sites Other medieval European remains include the Church of St. George and adjacent houses at the Genovese Square called Kikr Ha Genovesim or Kikr Genoa in Hebrew. There were also residential quarters and marketplaces run by merchants from Pisa and Amalfi in Crusader and Medieval Acre. The High Holy Places There are many Baha'i holy places in and around Acre. They originate from Baha'u'llah's imprisonment in the citadel during Ottoman rule. The final years of Baha'u'llah's life were spent in the mansion of Baja, just outside Acre, even though he was still formally a prisoner of the Ottoman Empire. Baha'u'llah died on 29 May 1892 in Baja, and the shrine of Baha'u'llah is the most holy place for Baha'is. Their Qibla, the location they face when saying their daily prayers. It contains the remains of Baha'u'llah and is near the spot where he died in the mansion of Baja. Other Baha'i sites in Acre are the House of Abud where Baha'u'llah and his family resided and the House of Abdullah Pasha where later Abdul Baha resided with his family, and the Garden of Ridvan where he spent the end of his life. In 2008, the Baha'i holy places in Acre and Haifa were added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. Archaeology. Excavations at Tel Akko began in 1973. In 2012, archaeologists excavating at the foot of the city's southern seawall found a key and other evidence of a 2,300-year-old port. Mooring stones weighing 250 to 300 kilograms each were unearthed at the edge of a 5-meter long stone platform chiseled in Phoenician style, thought to be an installation that helped raise military vessels from the water onto the shore. Topic. Crusades Under the citadel and prison of Acre, archaeological excavations revealed a complex of halls, which was built and used by the Hospitaller's Knights. This complex was a part of the Hospitaller's Citadel, which was combined in the northern wall of Acre. The complex includes six semi-joined halls, one recently excavated large hall, a dungeon, a dining room and remains of an ancient Gothic church. Medieval European remains include the Church of St. George and adjacent houses at the Genovese Square called Kikr Ha Genovesim or Kikr Genoa in Hebrew. There were also residential quarters and marketplaces run by merchants from Pisa and Amalfi in Crusader and Medieval Acre. <laughs> International relations Acre is twinned with Topic. Notable people Apart from those mentioned in the article Alexander the Great, Saint Paul, Richard the Lionheart, Napoleon Francis of Assisi October 3, came on pilgrimage to the Holy Land passing through Acre Nominides Jewish scholar and Talmud expert Heinrich Walpott died before 1208, first Grand Master of the Teutonic Knights. Otto von Kirpen died 1209, second Grand Master of the Teutonic Knights. Marco Polo 1254 to 1324 sailed from Venice to Acre in 1271. Joan of Acre 1272 to 1307, English princess born in Acre. General Caffarelli 1759 to 1799, French general and scholar, died and buried in Acre. Ghassan Kanafani, born 1936, died 1972, Palestinian writer. 
Ella German, born 1937, girlfriend of Lee Harvey Oswald, moved to Akko sometime between 1993 and 2013. Raymonda Tawil, born 1940, Palestinian journalist and activist. Lydia Hatchell Zuckerman, born 1963, Olympic foil fencer. Ayaletta Hayan, born 1974, Olympic foil fencer. Delila Hatchell, born 1980, Olympic foil fencer. Abigail Alfatov, born 1996, national fencing champion, soldier, and Miss Israel 2014. Topic: In popular culture. Aker appears in the video game Assassin's Creed. Topic: See also. District of Aker. Terra Sancta Church Cities of the Ancient Near East Topic. References Topic. Citations Topic. Bibliography Topic. External links Acre Municipality Official Website Official Website of the Old City of Acre Survey of Western Palestine, Map 3, IAA, Wikimedia Commons Orit Safar and Yotam Carmel, Hamam al-Pasha, The Implementation of Urgent First Aid, Conservation and Restoration Measures, Israel Antiquities Site, Conservation Department <laughs>